Shoba, first of all, I would like to say a big, big thank you to you that uh, you agreed to meet me to speak about how you became as a coach because I think it's a quite interesting story. So first of all, if you can just say a few words about you, just uh, introduce yourself to our Polish community that uh, will come to know you much better. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. I'm so excited and so happy to be here, um, to be uh, chatting with you and connecting with you. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey for me. I'm an author. I've been working for 25 years. I live in Hong Kong. Um, it's exciting. And uh, also, I feel destiny has played a role in my direction towards coaching. I started out just thinking I would be a writer. And when I wrote fiction books. I wrote thrillers, which is uh, a lot of uh, violence and excitement and suspense. Then I moved into nonfiction books, which is I wrote a biography and a memoir. And, wow. and then suddenly a self-help book came across and I just wanted to talk about self-esteem. So self-esteem, the more I uh, did my research on it, the more I wrote about it, the more excited I felt about this inner journey of understanding human behavior, why we have these stuck beliefs, why we feel that we have an inner critic, uh, how to handle it, uh, perfectionism, social media effects on self-esteem. All of that I've shared in the book in a way that is more from a perspective of a lay person because I'm not a therapist or a psychologist. Uh, mm -hmm. From that way, it has evolved into something easy to read and relatable to anybody who would read this book. So okay. I'm quite excited to be on this journey. And about okay. uh, getting into coaching, it was uh, as a result of writing this book. Okay, so you, we can say you are just naturally switched to that, right? Uh, I'm halfway. <laughs> I'm uh, halfway. I'm balancing okay. both worlds. I'm a, I'm a writer and now lately training to be a life coach. So there's still a lot of experience and practice, more practice required to achieve a certain amount of experience uh, to coach people, to coach clients. Uh, but it is, uh, it's something that has helped me as well. Uh, coaching is not right. just about helping others. It has also given me a certain amount of understanding of uh, myself as well. So in, in this way, we can just uh, be honest. And uh, if you can just explain and find out how coaching changed you, because I think it's uh, coaching is changing us, right? So how it changed you? Coaching actually got me in touch with my own stuck beliefs. Um, I have uh, certain fears. For example, I have a fear of public speaking. And, oh. uh, and, and for an author now, especially with uh, the pandemic and we cannot travel, so a lot of uh, conversations are happening online through technology. Right. So I need to be able to speak confidently and uh, with, uh, with an ability to share my information. And uh, with through coaching, I've been able to get over this fear. And as I've been more and more on speaking on uh, technology or through Zoom, I feel more confident. Um, in other ways, it has brought up uh, some issues related to self-esteem as well. I felt that I had low confidence and low self-esteem. So it brought coaching helped me to realize these important issues that if I addressed them and overcame them, I would be able to help others as well. Wow, that sounds like you found your mission. So would you like just to share what is your mission at the moment? So at the moment, my mission is to share with people that if you fear, if you have a sense of uh, inner critic that's constantly stopping you from achieving your goals, a coach can help you to overcome those stuck beliefs. If you have any issues related uh, that makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you feel afraid or sad or restless 
or you feel you need some purpose in life, you want to develop some meaning, some goal, some dream that you have on your mind but haven't addressed, haven't reached out for, coaching is one way that can guide you to develop and discover your own potential. And there's okay. possibilities for everybody. It's it's uh, it's amazing how you can discover your own possibilities. I'm sure, Monica, you you've seen that transition within you as well, hasn't it happened? Yes, yes, of course, of course. It's changing us because science, once we are touching the human's potential, we are just, uh, you know, seeing us as a in the mirror. So mm -hmm. you are just opening the eyes and you are seeing, wow, I have it or wow, I don't have it, but I'm quite also feeling okay. So we are finding mm -hmm. our own ways also as a coaches. Uh, I think it's an amazing way to understand ourselves also. Yes, I agree with you. Totally. Yeah. Yes. So let's be in this moment because I think it's a, um, a, just a good moment to go little, little more deeper. And if you can just show us, say, what exactly changed in your life, science you are a coach. It means like, uh, is there something you are observing some changes in your routines or maybe in your awareness? What's happened? Uh, what happened uh, uh, since you are a coach? So a lot of interesting things have happened. First of all, I'll tell you a little um, incident, a little story from my childhood, which took on a whole new perspective when I started to learn and understand about coaching. So when I was very young and, and we were in uh, West Africa in Nigeria, so I was six or seven years old and uh, I wasn't eating very well. I was a very thin, scrawny child. And my father was very worried about me. And then he took me to see a doctor. The doctor said, oh, she has tonsillitis. And uh, once that's removed, she'll be fine. She'll be able to yeah. eat properly. So we went through that, but still I wasn't as uh, strong and uh, tall. My father used to be tall and big built and he wanted his daughter to be tall and, you know, like big built too. But I was this little delicate child and he would compare me with some other uh, friend's daughter. And so like, why is that child so chubby and, you know, like uh, bubbly and tall and big and my daughter's okay. so tiny and small. So when he went back to the doctor to ask a question regarding this, the doctor said, how can you compare a Mercedes Benz to a Volkswagen? Your daughter is the, has the engine of a Volkswagen <laughs> and you are comparing her to a Mercedes Benz. And my father over the years would, would share this story. But when I studied uh, self-esteem and coaching and I realized I had internalized that, that I'm not good um, enough, I'm not, you know, as compared to this person or that person. And then I started to be, create this awareness that when I do these comparisons, when I feel that I'm less than, or, um, you know, I'm not feeling good inside about myself, uh, it has helped me address these issues as well. Wow. So it's amazing. Okay. I, I, I just realized what my father actually was sharing was something that had affected me in a negative way he may have said it as a joke or something but it, yeah. it lasted in my mind <laughs> it means whatever we are hearing from our community from the moment we are grew up in we are born exactly it's mm -hmm. also like uh, um, changing us right yes um, we are losting ourselves we are losting our own meaning and we are just trying to uh, we are com with the moment I'm thinking we are comparing what we heard as the kids, uh, what to say, especially parents, because they're, to be honest, very, very close to us, to our heart, to our mind. Yeah. So whatever they're sharing uh, to us about us, I think it's uh, so much, you know, um, forcing us to go through that way. And then it's uh, to get out from all this situation, especially as you show by share that you are gonna, you used to travel across the, some countries, even you changed yes. the uh, uh, continents from the Asia to Africa. So yeah. how does it change you? I'm, I mean, 
I'm just so much interesting because you as you did not just change the country, you changed the culture. You exactly you are living out of your country, right? You are in yes. Hong Kong. So yes. how those changes uh, also um, in you know changing you. This is what mm -hmm. I'm interested in. How you are finding the society which is not your natural, how how they behave is changing you. Because as we know that our community also changing us. So Correct. yeah. What's happening with you since you are traveling across the countries? Yes. Yeah, so so after Africa we moved uh, to India. So it was also a bit of a adjustment for me to realize that there is a whole different uh, way of living culturally and um, and there was also a journey to other parts of the world so we lived in Asia we lived in Singapore um, also in Belgium for a few years um, for a few months in in the US so all of that gave me an uh, ability like see when we when we face change we find a way to adapt because the human yes. uh, the human uh, condition the the human capacity to adjust is excellent you know the body and the mind can find ways to adapt to change my way of adapting was cuz i'm an only child so i would say books are my best friends so with each country or city i would leave behind i know i can't take my friends with me but i can take my books with me so i would always be um comfortable and uh, like you could say anchored because there is okay. always a adjustment when you move to a new place new city new environment uh, at least my books are there i feel close and anchored to them i can read them and it provides me with that comfort so yes it was an adjustment process but like i said the mind has a capacity to adapt and uh, mm -hmm. some ways it's positive some ways it's negative and uh, i'm i guess i'm blessed it was positive i'm uh, grateful that it was a positive impact it it didn't okay. really affect me too yeah much. for sure so mm -hmm. do you think those travels those situation of the journeys are they changed you they gave me a way to look at the world and people in a more uh, open way i mean i would learn so much about their culture their behavior their ability to face life um sometimes it was uh, you know there there are people who are perfectionists they are very disciplined people who like things to be done in a certain way so i i learn from them to to be disciplined i also learn who are very chilled out and everything is about oh no problem everything will happen i okay. learn from them <laughs> <laughs> so there is there are different kinds of people and uh, and they they're all happy in their own world so what i learned is that you find a space where you as a person in your unique way can be happy find your little space to be happy so i learned that from different people and uh, interacting with them also gave me a perspective that we as humans uh, we can um, make things better for okay. our surroundings just by our behavior by even a simple smile and a good morning to anybody right. can make a difference because we don't know what struggles people are facing so i believe also i've learned that as well over my mm. journey as well yeah sure but it sounds like you have from that moment you are traveling you have better understanding of the human nature behaviors right it is uh, maybe instinctive maybe i have it uh, instinctively but i never clearly understood it as a as a coaching framework you know like in coaching they teach us uh, certain beliefs values uh, yes. what affects the human mind or why we think certain ways and then we behave and our actions and choices and decisions are affected by the way we think or maybe by our stuck beliefs so all of that uh, is uh, something i've come to see in, in a whole different new light because i mm. i knew i knew it but i didn't knew, know how to uh, understand it you could say better okay. now i understand it better yeah okay so 
Let's say that maybe you agree with me that coaching is changing us, also is giving to us a positive impact. And uh, uh, as per my understanding, also we are becoming more aware. We are faster finding the ways for, for another people is getting some time. Yes, I agree. Yes. So Shoba, uh, since you are the coach, you are observing people, how they're transforming themselves, they're finding the way, they're having more understanding about themselves. Do you have some situation that you are observing, like this is a process when the, uh, we are starting and it's going, 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 and it's catching the, you know, the person, it's uh, like, you know, the person becoming shining. And are you finding this moment of that person that you know that person proper, properly transformed and has a better understanding and now life has have a new journey? Uh, yes, actually, I did uh, first experience that. It was one um, initial coaching experience, but then uh, the first time there was no immediate uh, change. It was okay. when uh, this lady came to me the second and the third time that I suddenly noticed that there was this expression on her face and this uh, you know, like how we, we see in our bodies, there's this, mm -hmm. this, this and suddenly she was like sitting straight, she had this big broad <laughs> smile on her face and she sensed, uh, she said, oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's the memory that's holding me back. You know, like she was stuck somewhere <laughs> in, in the timeline that she she's saying, no, that happened, so I couldn't do this. And now she addressed it, faced it and uh, let it go. And she let it mm. go and then um, so I'm, I'm also guiding her to uh, because it was a fear a certain kind of a fear so now I've helped to to face that fear to lean in and because fear also stems from fear of failure you know we always say yes. oh what if I make a mistake what if I'm embarrassed yeah, the biggest fear I think <laughs> everyone are facing what another real thing what if what if and yeah. it's just do not allow us to move ahead it's always just grabbing us back and saying no this is not the good moment and then mind creating beautiful stories why you should yes. be in the position you are at the moment yes, <laughs> yes. and like, like like you said like it's a, it's a movie and then you just remove the stuff that doesn't fit into that movie of right. how you visualize it so in that sense, yes, I've noticed that one uh, incident. Another incident was when I was uh, guiding somebody into um, the resourceful state. And when I was talking about the part of love and uniqueness, um, she started crying <laughs> because I guess she never realized that there is uh, that, that she hadn't thought about her own self. You see, she gives mm. and gives and gives to everybody that self love that self uh, understanding, compassion, the kind kindness for self was missing. And, and it suddenly yes. it, she needed to realize that. So it helped in a way. Yeah, so what I'm hearing from you also, and it's also my own observation about myself. So since we are coaches, our awareness, it's like a more sharp, and that awareness we are using not only to find ourselves in, in some situations, right? We are also finding um, the moments that, you know, it's, uh, I would like to say it's like a, our own transformation, which is as a mirror of that person who we are coaching our coaching is for us like a mirror and as per i'm observing the coaching is bringing to us uh, also awareness of ourselves and that awareness is helping us to faster help our coaching coaching i'm sorry mm -hmm. right so do you agree with me there is a moment in your own life when you are doing something and you are catching yourself oh my god and you are understanding you are just in the process what is just holding you back and this is called the beautiful moment of the self-awareness when you are understanding how coaching is changing you 
Mm-hmm. Do yes, you have yes. in your in your own life experience, like uh, you are working with the people, you also have your own master coach, like we are coaches always working on ourselves, we are improving mm-hmm. our skills and trying to be better and better every day. And mm-hmm. once we are getting this awareness, so how does it uh, impact in you, that awareness in your own life? So this awareness has, uh, like, because like you said as coaches we have to be uh, we ought to be a little more um, capable to handle a client's issue you know so they they come to us with an issue so we need to be stronger uh, more aware of our issues that they don't come in the way and uh, and and also while while uh, in previous um, situations when I, suddenly i'm i'm saying a, a question like oh you know like if you if i coach you you will be open focused relaxed and you will f- discover immense possibilities within you to solve your problems that immense possibilities makes me feel <laughs> also that i have immense possibilities and abilities to change myself so when right. uh, when that awareness came about uh, in my daily life from the point that i wake up in the morning and understand maybe i had these limiting beliefs that i shared with you earlier um i address them in a loving kind way um i also um offer gratitude and and also say to myself that i hope that i can um create a better um what would you say a, a better uh, tool or a better package coaching package for somebody who really needs it so yeah, so the ability yes that ability yes. i i also feel like is a is part of some a process for me to understand as well right so if someone wants to have some changes in life how you can say that why do i should choose you shoba what is a specific that you can help them if you can say that what i want to say in this way if you can just say to the another people maybe those who are listening us and will see our uh, speaking the way our interview we can say so if they are just thinking ah just because they want to do something specifically or it's a hard job so to be honest what do you think why the people need us i mean coaches what we can do in their life how we can change their life how we can help them and what specifically you can do for them the what i understand uh, from my journey also is that um if i try and solve my own situation for example i'm a writer and i went through a phase where i was uh, deeply hurt by a uh, rejection by a publisher or i was i was discouraged by some negative review uh that sort of feeling i personally wish i knew a coach i could go to and talk about it and that coach would have a structured approach to enable me to get out of that stuck feeling or belief about myself so in that sense i say that a coach is so relevant because when you are so caught up in your own feeling in your own stuck moments and you can't get out of it you need right. somebody objective who can guide you to see it from a bigger picture to disassociate from that feeling to enable you to form a new feeling a new habit and to understand that that's much faster than me dwelling in my you know when i was dwelling in my yeah. rejection and i'm going to not be able to write anymore so i believe that coaches are so important because they can get you out of that stuck place and guide you forward another way is, is direction like sometimes we are at the fork of our life where we have two directions we have decisions to make should i take this Or should i do that and right at those moments you're too close to those choices and it it because of your inner weaknesses or strengths you will not be able to give a good decision on which direction right. to go that's best 
for you as a client. So a coach should see somebody, I mean, a client should should understand that the coach, when they guide uh, mm -hmm. a client, it's about understanding who you are as your whole personality, your strengths, weaknesses, your resources, mm -hmm. what capabilities you have, and in which direction your future is more fulfilling, more happy, more purposeful. Uh, so in that sense, I think the coach, it comes really in a good, as a guide, you know, as somebody who can really guide you to lead a better fulfilling life. I exactly. believe in that. Yeah. And whatever is unconscious practice, what is going on, we are also helping, right, to catch the awareness in that unconscious yeah. process. I understand why do I have this habit? Why I'm trying to change it? It's not working. For example, if even someone wants to become uh, fit uh, or start to do the, any physical exercises, but morning routine is not allowed in. And then it's uh, going all the unconscious process. So this is also Shoba, right? You are helping people to see your habits, morning routines, and do not allow you those things. So change them, then you will have another results. And those mm -hmm. results will give you what you are looking for. Yeah, that's right. true. So, like, uh, yeah, we have these patterns, right? We have right. stuck patterns, like we have a routine. And sometimes breaking that is difficult. It's natural. Right. So to, to understand that is also important. Therefore, coaches are yeah. helpful in that sense yeah. yeah and our good questions are helping understand because when we are trying to understand by ourselves we are just talking and as you said in our own patterns and we could yeah. not move out so mm -hmm. this is when we are coming to the coachy life and we are saying take it easy it's so easy just relax everything yeah. is gonna happen the right way so shoba as you mentioned you are the writer would you like to share your book and would you like to explain when where and how we can buy your book thank you thank you my book is uh, i can share the book here <laughs> okay so it's Reboot available with, like Review. Reboot, right. Reflect, Revive, Self-Esteem in a Selfie World. Yes. So this book is basically uh, telling us all about the latest research in how the issues of how we esteem ourselves, our self-esteem, how can it affects our lives, how it affects mm -hmm. our choices and decisions. And from what I've discovered is that a lot of... Uh, the, our abilities, our ability to accept ourselves as we are is a more complex situation now in this world. Like we, get, we are not able to accept ourselves as we are. So self-esteem is actually an attitude of non-judgment, of acceptance, mm -hmm. self-acceptance. It is our opinion of ourselves, but it is an opinion of ourselves to accept our weaknesses, our mistakes, our flaws, wow. because we are imperfect human beings living in this world. So we have to accept that nobody's a 100% success story. Right. So this book has real life stories. I've interviewed uh, a number of uh, therapists, coaches. I've shared some um, uh, latest research on how one can deal with these issues, which are affecting us in the workplace, on social media, in our relationships, in our personal lives, and body image issues. There are a lot of uh, relevant topics that uh, I've covered, but in an easy to read manner because I'm not a therapist. So I've written it from <laughs> a lay person's perspective. And it's right. been quite a, it, it's, uh, it's been a journey of self-discovery. So I'd love if you would read it and it's on uh, Amazon and uh, I would like to invite you for a Zoom session if you like on the 11th for the book event if, if you're free. For that. sure. So, uh, Shoba, can we share along with this interview, uh, we would like uh, to share the links where we can find your book and uh, you're also, uh, uh, we can say, Zoom public speaking, right? Because yes. uh, you are the writer and you are the coach in the same moment. So we can say also just because that book is for everyone, right? So 
especially what I was thinking as you was explaining what is your book about. I was thinking this is the book for everyone who is starting the questioning. What is my life journey? Why I'm doing these things? What is my life purpose? And uh, also whatever we are trying to question ourselves, why do I do this way? How I can change my habits? So everyone who are trying to find uh, uh, in develop uh, their own uh, personal developing, we can say, right? Yes. Like uh, they're trying to move little, little, little above the version that was yesterday, right? This mm -hmm. is for everyone who wants just to have a better life, better yes. quality. It's uh, better not quality. just about the physically to have, uh, you are just right now, we have a Mercedes, you want, you want to have the Jaguar. It's not like, a, <laughs> you know, it's not yeah. about, it's about the quality. Right, yeah. you are getting the better quality. Um, and you know, science I'm um, coach, to be mm. honest, I uh, became so much relaxed. And it's it doesn't mean I do not have uh, problems. I do mm. not have uh, any kind of this hard situation in my life. I, to be honest, I have the same number, even I'm sure that a little increase. What changed? Mm. I changed. I changed yeah. myself the way I'm seeing those problems. I'm seeing those situations, right? Mm -hmm. And what's happening in before, I was feeling, you know, even that stress, just because mm -hmm. the problems are giving the fear, the stress, you don't know what to do, you don't know how. So science, even I have a problem right now. I don't know what to do sometimes. I'm mm -hmm. trying to find the way. What change the way I'm seeing the problems and yeah. what is a change? is in the end the results it changed that i do not feel the problem is something what is bringing the stress into my life yes so it's I'm how we talk problems, to ourselves yes something like uh, okay it's something to solve hmm. it's not damaging in my life it's something to solve yes exactly it is I, not something that you you take it too personally you say, okay, right. I have a situation. Now, I don't want to fall apart. I don't want to get panicky. I don't want to start crying and losing my faith in humanity. Right. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, right? We, right, we all of have course. Moments. It's natural, you know, to have emotional moments. Uh, but it's also a way to understand that we can stand up again and be strong. And our inner strength is what keeps us going every day and uh, therefore we if we are strong we can encourage others to understand that they can be strong too yeah so that's so important. to be honest this is when and and how coach is helping to just move faster ahead just see from your problems from the distance and find them as a something to solve not to eat your life you know <laughs> so yeah Shoba, uh, thank you so much for coming today to meet me, to speak about your personal uh, way of your coaching and also about your, as you are a writer, about your book. So as we said before, the link for the book and for your uh, event will be above that interview. So everyone who wants to meet you, they have uh, plenty of the possibilities. And of course, if Shoba, you agree, we can leave some contact to you. So everyone who wants to get better quality of life more uh, life more relaxed to become in uh, casual things because yeah. uh, to be honest coaches are not the people who are removing the problems from the life but they're mm -hmm. helping to find the way how to exist and fast solve them in the yes. uh, faster way and just without the you know involving so much our body in it <laughs> yes. right. so, so true right. yeah mm -hmm. so thank you monica I, I just love chatting with you and it's it's been a pleasure and i'm just so excited about your what you're planning ahead in this project so i look forward to being a part of it thank you monica okay.